Oh, there you are. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Very, very nice to meet you. So where are you joining us from, Zena? Today I am in Switzerland, in Ticino, <gasps> southern Switzerland. Wonderful, wonderful. So it's very nice to meet you in person, as in person yes. as we can get. Thank you so <laughs> much for being a part of the PMA's 2021 conference. Um, again, I'm Carla Harris. I'm the executive director of the PMA, and we are here talking with Zena, who is going to be um, presenting at this year's conference. So Zena, let's just hop right in. So first of all, tell us a little bit about why you're excited to be a part of the conference this year. I um, Well, I should say I've been wanting to and admiring the presenters at the conferences for years. And so I came to a place in my life where I've been doing a lot of teaching and always just wanted to have a chance to to reach out to people that I don't know as well, to be part of a community of wonderful people and really expert teachers. And I'm just really thrilled to be part of this group of presenters this year. I think you have just an amazing lineup and I feel honored and thrilled to be part of it. Yeah. Well, we are excited to have you here. Um, so I know that you're presenting on, uh, your, the name of your topic is Unloading the Spine. So that's really interesting to me as a person who has lower back issues. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about what our attendees can expect to learn in your session and give us sort of some juicy tidbits that, you know, to just sort of whet the appetite a little bit. Yeah, um, I, this is something that I'm really passionate about. Um, my background is in physical therapy and I tend to draw in clients that have a lot of spine issues, as, it, as I'm sure across the board with Pilates instructors, that happens as well. But I find that there's some ways that can be just okay for clients who have a spine issue, some ways that can actually injure people who have a spine issue. And there are ways that we can use our Pilates that can actually really transport that person from their point, their pain point or their, their limitations into kind of a new world. And I've been so fortunate with my clients that I've had uh, and my staff that I work with or my colleagues that we've sort of feel like we've come to this place where we understand a lot better how to help people get to that place and a lot of that in in our minds has to do with finding a way to unload to relieve and unload pressure in the spine and there's so much great information in the Pilates repertoire that's sort of embedded in there that if we can just tease it out and teach people how to just take that load off of their spine, they seem to have amazing success. And so I really just wanted to share my knowledge a little bit beyond to give that knowledge to people who can take it beyond where I can, where I and the people I know can reach that are mm -hmm. thinking that same way and just give people another way to look at a body to help people find another, just another resource to help those with people who need to really unload and lengthen, even people who are not injured, right? People who just need better posture, people who need to yeah. sit better. These, this year and a half of sitting in front of a computer has really changed how people are loading their spine. And so finding ways to really unload it, I think will change, change people's lives. So that's, that's really interesting. So I, I'm looking at your description here. So I guess a couple of questions come to mind. So first of all, will uh, attendees in your session need any uh, specific uh, equipment uh, at their ready? And, and is this sort of a lecture and demonstration uh, teaching format? Can you just talk a little bit about your teaching style for this session? Yeah, so for this session, just because we've condensed it, so much uh, it's probably going to be more it's more me kind of giving you a lot of hopefully very useful information and then <clears> demonstrating <throat> how i get somebody's body to do what it is that with cueing and movement how we get them to actually get to that place where we feel like they're getting that unloading happening so it's mostly me lecturing and then demonstrating some of the exercises um and then i've sort of put together a little extra list uh, that I will make available as well of more that you could do. So I, the, the, the people who are coming don't have to have any equipment. 
if you have a Cadillac uh, and reformer, that those are the things I'm going to focus on. If you if you prefer to move while you're watching somebody demonstrate, but it's just it's not necessary. And there's a little map component, so you could just do that, or you can just be a participant and watch, and then have that information for you to try later when you mm -hmm. have access to equipment or mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. the mat, whichever whichever is best for you. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So I want to um, just point out a couple things. So yes, to those who have attended the uh, PMA conferences in the past, we have had to condense our sessions to an hour for because of virtual for virtual capacity. I mean, not and, and really it's, it's from a health perspective. So Zena, you mentioned that we all sit in front of Zoom or sit in front of our computers over the past two years. So that's also one of the reasons that we thought it, it, it a best practice to shorten our sessions because we want people up and moving and we don't want folks to sit. I mean, these are three days from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day and we really want people to be healthy uh, while they're learning to, um, to, to just build on their craft. So for those of you who think that this is gonna, that we're not doing a full session, we are. And all of our speakers know that we have had to, and this is the reason why. So please understand that. And then number two, it's a great segue to next year. So we are back in person next year. We're back in person in Las Vegas in October. So then we'll be back to our normal 90 minute or two hour session. So, so just so and, and hopefully, you know, once we get the application process going, Zaina, hopefully you will register or at least apply to be a speaker next year. So yeah. okay, perfect. So you talk about um, the style of teaching so people can have if they have equipment, they can sort of set up their computers where they can have the equipment near them. Um, they can just take notes or they can uh, participate in the mat session or portion of your session and still benefit from the information that you're, you will be providing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think whichever Perfect. learning style is best, any of it would work, yeah. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, also, I, I want to share with everyone, we've gotten a lot of questions about this. So if you are registered for Zena's session and you're unable to make the session live, we are, requ we are recording all the sessions and every session that you've registered for, you will be able to gain your CECs, which is really, really important, watching the recorded session for a period of time. I believe we're opening it up for one week following the conference. So be uh, assured that Zaina is providing incredibly important information and you will be able to get your CECs um, if you're unable to make it. And we know that time zones are all over the place uh, for this, for our conference. So uh, we appreciate that. So Zaina, tell me um, or tell us and it, what are the other things that we can look for in our session with you? I think, um, well, I hope that you guys will have fun. I really like to make it lively and as interactive as we can make it on this platform. Sure. Um, it's pretty fast paced. Uh, and hopefully you're going to take get some really like things that you can take away right from that lecture and, and apply to your practice tomorrow you know I really try and make it very practical very hands-on very easy to understand um, and hopefully I'm going to stir up some questions in your head I really hope to have you leave with more questions and maybe even questioning why would I even take the time to talk to you about this or questioning how you look at your next client that walks in the door or question how you can provide the most value to your client in any minute that you spend with them. So I'm hoping also to stir you up a little bit um, to make you want to ask more questions, to uh, make you enjoy it and to learn a lot um, for yourself and for everybody else. So that's great. That's great. And so um, our theme this year is harmony, unity, and one alliance. So if you could choose one of those themes and talk about what that theme means for you and your Pilates uh, practice and your membership in the PMA, what would it be? And tell us a little bit about why you, you chose that particular one. 
Um, I think probably harmony for me. I tend to be, uh, I, well, I named the business, my business synergy because I feel like harmony, working together, working with everybody, all people. You know, I always tell people we are all exactly, I look at the body. I don't look at the outside of the body. I look at the inside of the body. And really, if you could take everybody's skin off, we're all exactly the same, you know? Yes. And it's just so amazing to me that we can, we can do that. As Pilates instructors, you have this knowledge of the body and knowing that we, we all have this harmony. We have so much in common, more in common than we don't have in common with everybody else. So I think that's maybe my life philosophy a little bit, my practice philosophy a little bit. And then I also feel like I know that people have different, have come from different backgrounds, learning Pilates and different methods, but I'm, I feel like what, what I try and teach and share is not restricted to any one. It's not, it's not a method. It's just another way to look at the body or just a more in-depth way maybe for some people or just another angle that anybody mm -hmm. can use with every, any style that they're using and any thing. I feel like we can all just really use the information and work together and create this harmony um, just to help other people. That's really what we all got into this for, I think, in the first place. So, Wow. I don't think we could have said that any better. That is great. And I love how you, uh, to, to me, it's, I, I sort of take it as a, like a combo package, right? Like harmony and unity, because if we, you're right, underneath the exterior, we are all the same. We all have hearts and we all have bones and we all have a structure that has been created. And I, I love how you put that. Thank you so much. So how long have you been a Pilates instructor? I completed my certification in 2002, 2003. So wow. I don't I don't really count the years anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Good. Well, I am so glad that you're going to be a part of, of this wonderful conference that we're planning. Um, I'm excited to learn what you have to teach. I'm excited to uh, be a part of something that is kind of our first out the door with our virtual format. So, Zaina, thank you so much for being thank a you. part of it. Thank I you appreciate so much. it. Um, and uh, we appreciate you being here. We understand that it's a major time difference, and, and we just look forward to, um, to seeing what you have to bring to us uh, yeah. in November, just a yeah. few weeks away. Yeah, We're excited. Yes. Thank you, you so have a much great day. You too. Thanks, everyone, Thank for joining you. us. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.